Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into something really exciting for all you photo editing enthusiasts out there. We're going to explore the Retouch For Me Photoshop panel, a powerful tool designed to make photo retouching faster and easier. Let's get started. Retouch For Me is known for its advanced AI-powered retouching tools, and the Retouch For Me panel is no exception. This panel integrates seamlessly with Adobe Photoshop, allowing you to apply professional quality retouching with just a few clicks. And did I forget to mention that the panel is completely free? So go ahead and click the link in the video description and start using the panel right away. And if you click the link in the video description, or use my coupon code ORTIS20 at checkout, you will get 50 bonus credits for the basic plan, 100 bonus credits for the pro plan, and 300 bonus credits for the business plan. So, what makes the Retouch for Dot Me panel stand out? Let's take a look at some of its key features. The panel includes a variety of plugins, each designed for specific retouching tasks. These modules use advanced AI to automatically enhance skin texture, remove blemishes, and even out skin tones while preserving natural details. You have the option to use Cloud Retouch or On-Device Retouch. And here are their key differences. Okay, now let's see the Retouch For Me panel in action. Let's use this image right here. To open the panel, click this Retouch For Me icon. If you don't see it, simply go to Plugins, Retouch For Me Panel 1.30, and then Retouch For Me Panel. As you can see, I have 107 Retouch credits left to use. And here are all the retouching plugins available at our disposal. What I like about Cloud Retouch is that you have access to all of these functions. Unlike on device where you have to purchase each individual plugins which can be quite expensive. Plus, you don't need a powerful computer as AI editing is happening in the cloud. All that is required is a fast internet connection. If we click this arrow right here, you can manually tweak the settings to your preference. Okay, let's use the Heal plugin, leave it at 100, and check the result by clicking this play button icon right here. As you can see right here, the Heal plugin used one retouch credit. Let's see the before and after. Before. After. Before. After. Let's zoom in. Before. After. Before. After. The Heal plugin did an amazing job removing all the blemishes, in my opinion. Now let's try using most of the plugins that are applicable to this image. Let's use the mattifier to reduce the shiny skin. Dodge and burn to smoothen the skin. Portrait volumes to add depth and dimension. Skin tone for color correction. Eye vessels to remove the red veins. Eye brilliance to enhance and brighten the eyes. Let's skip the white teeth and fabric plugin as they are not applicable to this image. And lastly, let's enable clean backdrop. Then we click the retouch button. Wait for a few seconds and... Just like that. We have a beautifully retouched portrait in just a few steps. And with all those plugins selected, it only deducted one retouch credit. So I highly recommend that before applying the Cloud Retouch, make sure to analyze your image and decide which plugins you are going to use so that you don't waste your retouch credits. Looking at the Layers panel right here, it created a separate layer for each plugin so you can still manually adjust each plugin as you like. Let's group all the plugins together. This is the original image. And this is with Retouch For Me Cloud Retouching. Let's zoom in. This is the original image. And this is with all the combined plugins. I am quite impressed with the result. Now I want to adjust the mattifier plugin so I can add the shine back a little bit. Let's set it at 25%. Now that looks much better. So like I said earlier, you can manually tweak each individual plugin, as they are created on separate layers, so it is very easy to adjust simply by changing the opacity or applying a mask and do manual brushing. Okay, now let's proceed with this second example. We have an extreme case right here. Let's put the panel to the test. First, let's examine this image. If we zoom in, we don't need to do any retouching on the model's face. So for this image, we can use the fabric plugin to remove some wrinkles on her clothes. And then use the Clean Backdrop plugin since it is quite obvious that the background is extremely wrinkled. And note that we have 115 retouch credits left. Let's click Retouch. Oh 
Okay, now we are left with 114 retouch credits. And if we toggle the fabric layer on and off, we can clearly see that it removed the wrinkles on her clothes. It even targeted the background. If we zoom in, we can clearly see the difference. Now if we toggle the clean backdrop layer, it did clean up the background but because the background is extremely wrinkled, the plugin was not able to fully clean it which is totally acceptable. Let's create a stamp visible layer and apply another round of the clean backdrop plugin. We can keep applying the plugins as much as we want at the cost of losing retouch credits. So we're now at 113 from 114 retouch credits. And as you can see, it did improve on cleaning the backdrop even more. But to be honest, the main takeaway to this example is that don't shoot on an extremely wrinkled backdrop as it will be almost impossible to clean it in post. It's totally common sense. Okay, moving on to our third example, let's analyze this image. So we have a dirty background, some minor wrinkles on the clothes, and we can apply minor retouching on the face as well. So let's enable heal, dodge and burn, portrait volumes, eye vessels, eye brilliance, fabric, and clean backdrop. So we're at 113 retouch credits before editing this image. Let's click retouch. And that's it. This panel is very convenient and time-saving, do you agree? Let's check the result. As you can see, it did an amazing job cleaning the backdrop. As for the clothes, it didn't do anything but somehow it detected wrinkles on her hair which is kind of weird. As for the face, it did a decent job with the retouching. Not bad at all. Let's group all the layers together. This is the before. This is after. Before. After. So what do you think about the Retouch For Me panel so far? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Okay, so we're down to our fourth and last example, and I already know what plugins to use for this image so I'll go ahead and fast forward this step. Okay, so it's done editing the image. Let's look at each plugin one by one. This is the fabric plugin. These are the eye vessels and eye brilliance. I accidentally used white teeth but we can skip this part. Then we have the heel plugin. And then dodge and burn. Then skin tone. And lastly, portrait volumes. Again, let's group all the layers. This is the before, this is after. Let's zoom out. This is the before, this is after. So there you have it. The Retouch For Me panel is a fantastic tool for anyone looking to streamline their photo retouching process. Whether you are a professional photographer or just someone who loves editing photos, this panel can save you a lot of time and effort while delivering stunning results. Again, click the link in the video description or use my coupon code ortiz 20 at checkout to get these bonus credits. If you found this review and tutorial helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech gear reviews and tutorials. And if you have any questions or want to share your experiences with the Retouch For Me panel, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.